Hello everyone, good noon to all of you. Welcome to the platform of Unacademy, India's largest learning platform. Yes, am I audible, visible to all of you, boys and girls? Yes, on Unacademy, we are going to provide you Yes, boys and girls, sorry for uh, inconvenience. It's just because of some technical error, the camera was on. on. Yes, everyone. <clears throat> so, welcome to the platform. Am I audible, visible to all of you? Yes, good afternoon, everyone. Am I audible, visible to all of you? Yes, on this platform, we are going to provide you daily live classes, live test, quiz, structure courses, and unlimited access with one subscription i hope you downloaded the app those who haven't please download because special classes and plus classes available only on app yes let me introduce myself those who are new here my name is harshwadan singh and on this platform i am going to teach you all the aspects of history economics and international relation i already completed my lecture series of world history and international relation on this platform so if you haven't watched it, just go and watch it. It is available on UPSC CSC English, our YouTube channel, as well as it is available on app. Those who want to connect with me, they can connect with me through my Telegram channel at unacademy underscore harshwi10 or you can connect with me through our app that is at the address at harshwardhan singh for you. I am having 9 year experience in the field of civil services as an educator at Delhi, Pune and Nagpur. These are our top educators. Please do watch the video. It is available on app as well as YouTube channel. It is for you only. It will really helpful in your preparation. I hope all of you subscribe to Unacademy. Those who haven't taken subscription, please, please subscribe to Unacademy because your subscription is important for us. Your subscription made us possible to present such a video lectures for you. Without your support, it's not possible. So, we are going to provide you options as plus as well as iconic. If you want to take the plus subscription for 12 months, at least you have to apply for 12 months. It will cost around 44,550 after using my code HARSHV10. Yes, you have to use this code to get 10% discount. As well as if you want to take the iconic subscription, at least take the iconic subscription for a year. This will it will cost around sixty seven thousand fifty after using my code Arshvi ten. Yes, everyone. So these are our batches. We are going to launch from eight February, six month, one year, two year, and NCRT batches for you. It is in Hindi, English, and bilingual. Yes, an academic combat. Everybody knew about this. So please join it. Feb 7, 11 a.m. Format 45 minutes, 60 question, 13 combats. Prices are also there. Yes, so combo offer is there. If you want to take the GS iconic subscription for a year along with the optional, it will cost around 88,705. The same way, if you want to take the subscription for plus, 
GS as well as plus iconic, it will cost around seventy thousand one hundred and three. These are my special classes available for you. The special classes are important for your preparation because here we are not just going to teach you the things. Here we are going to di discuss the strategies. We are going to discuss the question answer series. Along with that, we are going to discuss the MCQs. And yes, the my special classes are mostly available at 9:20 to 9:30 p.m. in the evening. So for further details, you have to follow me. Yes, Nira Lee. Good afternoon. Yes, everyone. Very good afternoon to you. A quick recap of last lecture. What we have discussed in last lecture. Yes, how many people are there? Okay. So in the last lecture, we have discussed an important aspect related to Quit India movement, and that is related to the factors or causes that leads to movement. For example, we mentioned the Cripps offer, the Cripps mission, the reaction from INC, and then we mention about the reaction from Gandhi. Reaction of Gandhi. Yes. So Cripps mission, the same age-old practice they followed. They talked about dominant status. They talked about CA, that is Constituent Assembly. They talked about the separate test mentality. Yes, they talked about everything in that. Actually, it was not accepted by Congress, not accepted by Muslim League because their sign was clear. For long ago, we ended this possibility of dominant status. Now, our demand is clear. The same way, Gandhi was also frustrated with the offer. He mentioned that in a very beautiful statement that it is a full stated check of fallen bank. Clear? So this is the quit India movement aspect we have discussed in the last lecture. Today we are going to discuss the programs of quit India movement and the other aspects related to it. Yes, I hope whatever the question I asked you yesterday, you have an answer for it. Yes, Rudra, good morning, uh, good afternoon to you. Program of quit India movement. The quit India movement, as everybody knew about, Gandhi's speech. Yes, Gandhi's speech on 8th August is considered as a program for this moment. Gandhi's speech gave the clear-cut direction to all the sections of the society. So what exactly it is? So fundamental framework provided by Gandhi's speech. Gandhi gave specific direction. Yes, it is important. Gandhi gave specific direction to different classes, to different classes and group. Like what? Yes, everyone. Like what? He gave direction to peasant, not to pay land revenue. Not to pay land revenue means basically you are going to refuse the authority of British. To take land revenue because land revenue as an important aspect or right of the government and they said that we are not going to provide and they Gandhi clearly mentioned this thing to peasant that if you are ready to sacrifice then only if you are not ready to sacrifice yourself then please do not enter if you ready do not pay taxes land revenue whatever it may be happen we are going to see second he gave direction to Indian soldiers as well. First and most important, do not fire openly to non-violent mob. Means without reason, just your master is going to tell you, just go and fire. No, do not do that. Second, not to crush Indians. Clear-cut indication. Reason, do not pay land revenue. Soldiers, do not open fire as well as do not crush Indians. Next, tenants means as you know the Tenancy Act was there. Tenants and zamindar cannot cultivated all the land. Zamindar giving that land to 
on the rent for tenants. So these tenants. So Gandhi gave the direction to them not to pay tax to Zaminda if Zaminda is pro government. It is not the case to not pay taxes. It is not the case not to pay tax if Zaminda is pro government. Next, native ruler. For native rulers, clear cut direction accept the sovereignty of the people. For native people, that is Praja, what he mentioned, feel the part of India. Feel to be part of India. Now you are no longer different. You are going to be part of India. Next, to the government servants, clear cut indication. Show allegiance to Indian National Congress. Yes, show allegiance to Indian National Congress. So each and every section Gandhi pointed out and gave the direction. And the last thing as I mentioned for student. No study if stick to it till the freedom. No study if stick to it till freedom. No need to go school. If Gandhi said people are going to it, don't worry. So this is the way Gandhi pointed out everyone what to do and what not to do. And you know what? On that particular day only there was an arrest of Gandhi and most of the important Congress leaders. Clear? Same day. Same day. When Gandhi gave the speech and the arrest session started everywhere all over India, the main important leader of Indian National Movement arrested. This moment was ruthlessly suppressed by British government within a short interval of time as the moment crushed openly. But the moment was still going on. How it is so, we are going to mention. Next, in latter 19, in the latter phase, in the end of 1942, a new and radical program presented by Indian National Bank. Yes, new and radical program. This new program is basically very radical in nature. First, non-acceptance of paper money. And if British Sarkar to paise chhap rahi hai, wo paise hi nahi lenge. Tumhare paise nahi chahiye hum. Second, non-payment of revenue. Whatever the form of revenue is there, we are not going to pay. Next. No sale of food crops and cattle to British. Don't you think so? It's too much radical. Yes, boys and girls. Don't you think so? It's too much radical from Gandhian side. Not to sell food. Not to sell cattle. Don't you think so? It is acted as a program of blockade. Yes, boys and girls. I ask you a very simple question. Hmm. Yes, everyone, what do you think? Yes, Sudra, what about others? Whether they think on the same line? Because Gandhi, you know, Gandhi uh, was basically not in that nature, that he doesn't want to follow this practice. But moment was non-violent. It was ruthlessly suppressed and that's why Gandhi and as Gandhi clearly mentioned this is the last struggle in my life. So direction was also radical. Non-sale of food crops and cattle to British. Boycott of revenue officials. Boycott of police officials. Don't you think so? These programs are quite radical than today's program because in today we know that many protest doesn't follow this practice but Gandhi followed it that time next important thing destruction of railways and telegraph lines yes destruction of railways and telegraph lines to defeat British military and you know what after independence also many people followed it they considered railway as the property or the symbol of government and that's why they tried to distract. They forget that it's their own property. Clear? 
So why it was there? Why this direction were given? Because too strong, this separation from the military, they gave this indication, try to destroy the railway tracks, telegraph line, so that they can defeat the military, British military. Yes, everyone. So program was clear. So initial program was mild, moderate. But when the open movement was ruthlessly suppressed, then the more radical and militant program is presented. Clear? Yes, everyone. Is that clear? Is that clear? Good. Next important, nature of quit India movement. So what do you think the nature of quit India movement? A very basic question. What do you think? What's the nature or feature of quit India movement? Yes, everyone. I ask you a very simple question. Hmm. Yadi aap se koi puche ki bhai Bharat chodo andolan jo tha, us andolan ki kya khasiyat thi? Kya khubiya thi? To kya batao? Hmm. Boys and girls. Nature or feature of quit India moment. Aggressive in nature as Rudra mentioned. Okay. Hmm. What about others? This question is open for you only. Just you have to think. As this is not the first time you are going to read or you are going to understand the critique. You are going to read and understand this concept. Clear? Since your childhood, this is a very common thing for you. Nature and feature of quit India moment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Aggressive, confident. Is it the case? Why you are not going to think on a rational line? That's why I ask you. First important thing, nature. It is a pan-India moment. What is the nature? It is a pan-India moment and extended to native states. Bharat ka ye pehla andolan tha jo andolan pure Bharat mein to pehla hi saath hi saath sansthano tak bhi gaya. Yes everyone, why it is so? The most important factor, it is not just related to the quit India movement but also the change in the Congress time. You know there is a session that is Haripura and Tripuri session. The Haripura and Tripuri session. In this session, Congress changed their stand towards native state. Yes, you know that when we started the Indian National Congress at that time, what I mentioned that the Congress stand was basically related to British India. They never interfere in the native state. But now, gradually, after 1929, Congress shifted their stand. They changed their stand and finally Haripura and Tripuri session made it clear that they mentioned one thing. Congress can take part in native state struggle and people of native state can take part in the any national movement and that's why the pan India, a true pan India character is visible in quick India movement. Yes, and extended towards native state. Next important thing, social base. 
peasant and students are considered as a pillar of this movement. Yes, students and peasants participated in this movement enthusiastically along with that the most important aspect is base that is ruler base is most significant. Means this movement is not restricted towards this movement is not restricted to cities. This movement spread throughout India and ruler base is important. Rural masses participated in that. Do you know one thing as uh, some of you might quite aware of it? That there are many villages present in India which carries the name Shaheed. Kya ab logo ko pata hai kuch? Yes everyone, have you heard about, have you have any information related to that? That there are many villages present in India which carries the word with them. Shaheed. Koi bhi gao ka naam hai. Pala na, koi bhi gao ka naam. Suppose ye hai. Us gao ke piche ek naam laga hua hai. Shaheed. Why it is so? It is because of this moment. The moment is intensified in 1942 and villages participated in that. And that's why, as you know that. This moment was ruthlessly suppressed by British. So people sacrificed their life to commemorate that. The name is suffix attached to the name of that village known as Shaheed. Bhoat sare hai. Bharat mein bhoat sare hai. Sik gao hai jahan pe ye naam attached hua. Because people sacrificed and mostly the ruler there. This shows the ruler base of the moment. Yes everyone. Clear? Next important aspect, next important feature. First, of course, plan base. Second, social base, peasant and student. Third, ruler base. Fourth, of course, parallel government. At many places, parallel government are established, and you should know the name of these places because it is a factually important question from prelims point of view. For example, Tamluk, Culture, Satara. Yes, Tamluk, Culture, Satara. Is there any other place? Yes, is there any other place? And this Satara is most important. Why? Because the parallel government was known as Sati Sarkar there, and this runs till 1955. Longest in all this parallel government so parallel government is basically an important feature of quit india movement clear the another important aspect yes the feature of or the nature of quit india movement as i mentioned earlier open movement suppressed so these are different form of the movement emerge underground movement pan india social base ruler base parallel government underground movement is an important aspect of it there are many leaders like yes there are many leaders like involved into quit india movement yes everyone there are many leaders i just want to know the name of the leaders which are involved into underground home. Hmm, batayye Rudra. Aap akele ho, baaki to log koi hai nahi bhai, saath mein. So aap hi batayye. What do you think? Please tell me the name of the people who involved into underground home. Yes, tell me any few, those who are joined here, please tell me, you have also chance to reply.
Yes, no answer from your side. Okay, it's very simple. Why you are taking so much? Aruna, Asaf, Ali. Achyut, Patuvardhan. Yes, Aruna, Asaf, Ali. Achyut, Patuvardhan. Usha, Mehta. Ram Nath Goenka. Yes, then Ram Manohar Lohia. Yes, these are very famous names. I'm really surprised that how can you forget? How can you forget these people? They played an important role. Usha Mehta, Aruna Asafali, Achut Patwardhan, Ramna Goenka, then Ram Manohar Lohia is there. Clear? So, these are those who played an important role in underground movement in India. And one more important aspect of this underground movement, that is a Congress radio run by Usha Mehta in Bombay. Usha Mehta run the Congress radio and where Ram Manohar Lohia here the Ram Manohar Lohia is going to present the speeches in that clear next important thing the name of that radio the name of that Congress radio is voice of freedom this radio was running at different places in the Bombay but finally Britishers tracked it and ended it. So this is the one of the important aspect of underground movement. Clear Congress radio known as Voice of Freedom. Usha Mehta run that radio. Clear. Another important aspect. Yes, I am going to mention the features of it. The another most important that is Gorilla Band. Gorilla. Gorilla to jante ho na? Gorilla kya hota? Yes, this gorilla band known as Azad Dasta, Azad Dasta at Nepal border. Who played important role? Yes, Chai Prakash Narayan. Chai Prakash Narayan is one of the important. There are two more people are there related to this. This gorilla Dasta was as known as Gorilla Band or known as Aras Dasta and it was working on the Nepal border and they also striving for struggling for India's freedom clear and the last important feature of Quit India movement yes last important feature is violent character as it was a purely non-violent movement but we had some references of violent character at some places. So when we added this feature, we have to add this as well. So if anybody asks you nature of Quit India movement, it's very simple. It is a Pan India movement. Second, social base you have to mention that is peasant and student. Rural base is strong. Then you are going to mention the parallel government at many places, underground movement, then after underground movement, guerrilla bands and finally violent character. So these are the features 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are seven features or nature of quit India movement. Yes, everyone, is that clear? Yes, boys and girls, is that clear to you? Question, any query, any doubt? Yes, is there any question, any query, any doubt? Clear, no confusion, no question, nothing else. Next, impact. 
impact of quit india movement the impact of quit india movement was basically it was a most radical response it was a most radical response from indian national movement as britishers never thought such kind of response from them the second most important factor that is it act as a eye opener for british government why because of radical and militant program launched by indian national congress so first time the british government in india shaken by the movement because earlier they considered this movement is really limited to some area city base but now the base of the movement increases the intensity of the movement increases and participation also increases and now people are not having fear of anything and this is the worst thing for british government yes everyone because government can stop the mob if and only if that mob is having fear mentality if the mob is fearless then it is really difficult for anybody to control the mob and that happened in india at that time that indians right now they are having different what you can say they are in different mood at that time they do not have any fear of sacrificing their life they considered it as a moment of pride that they are doing something for their motherland so that's why it act as a eye opener and the last important impact was basically this landmark spirit of nationalist spirit it was there in all over india but also a most important thing entered into indian officials yes everyone please take note of it please please take note of it that is the nationalist spirit which was spread throughout india now that spirit entered into indian official and do you know what indian civil services considered as a steel frame for british administration and now that steel frame became weakened why because the officials involved into british administration those who are indian in nature now they are spies clear it's really really shocking thing for british government because once upon time they considered they are loyal servant now the loyalty shifted from british government to india that's why viceroy the second last viceroy of india who was the second last viceroy before mount batten who was the viceroy of india yes everyone a very simple question i ask you a factual question who was second last viceroy of india yes kumar sahil okay good second last viceroy of india vevel or linlitko vevel or linlitko Yes, Rudra. Are you sure we will was there? Or Lin let go. Mount Batten was basically Kumar. Mount Batten was the last voice of India. Yes, we will. We will was the voice of India. Do you know what he wrote a letter? he wrote a letter not just not in 1942 but he wrote a letter 
and this letter is basically suggestive of one thing and in that letter he mentioned clearly that we cannot hold our position in India anymore so please hasten the process of transfer of power clear it is very simple word he mentioned that and why it is so because we have mentioned the spirit of nationalism spread among the Indian officials as well they are civilian civil uh, what we can say bureaucrat but when the spirit of nationalism entered into military Indian army, it was an alarming situation for them and that's why he wrote a letter and that letter specially mentioned that. Now it's time. Chalo hai, nikalna hai hame. Jitne jaldi ho sake nikalna hai, saman jama karna shuru koto. And that's why that letter became the basis for at least declaration in later times. Clear? So this is the impact of Quit India movement. If anybody asks you the impact, first it was a radical response from Indian side, eye opener for British government and the spread of nationalistic spirit among Indian officials. Yes, is that clear to you? Yes, boys and girls, impact is clear. Features, clear. Impact clear now. What after impact limitations? Do we have any limitation of Quit India movement? Yes, boys and girls. I ask you a very simple question. Do we have any limitation of Quit India movement? Or there is no limitation of Quit India movement. Quit India movement was the best moment in the world, and there is no limitation. Is that the case? Oh, PK, you also joined. Good, good. Kuch to khami rehi hogi na? Yes, कुछ तो खामियां होगी ना ऐसे थोड़ी है कि बिना खामी के कुछ होगा अरे भाई साहब आदमियों में खामियां है आदमी में खामी है तो आदमी जिस आंदोलन को चला रहे उसमें भी तो कुछ ना कुछ खामियां होगी रिमेंबर वन थिंग एवरी कॉइन इज हैविंग मेनी डायमेंशन एवरी कॉइन इज हैविंग मेनी डायमेंशन कुमार इट इज नॉट द बेसिकली डू और डाई Remember, do or die, it is a slogan given by Gandhi and that is slogan symbolized one thing that is either do something or sacrifice your life. Means you have to ready to sacrifice your life. That should be important aspect. Yes, Ankita, you also joined. Good, good, good. Limitation must be there. And what do you consider limitation? Of course, one important aspect. That is, of course, the goal is not fulfilled. Yes, can we consider it in limitation? Because when they said quit India, whether Britishers quit India, kya angrezo ne Bharat chhod diya, turan. Is that the case? So, of course not. When Britishers didn't left the country, so we can consider that they didn't able to fulfill their Cool. So it is limitation and the second most important limitation that is violation. That is broad parameter of Gandhi's mass movement violated. The most important thing, broad parameter of Gandhian mass movement violated and that's why that's why movement became radical, movement became aggressive and turns violent at many places. 
Yes, Ankita. What Ankita mentioned, the movement didn't have a proper leader. Yes, of course, because these leaders were in jail. You know what? One, one interesting thing I just want to tell you. Maybe you have read in book that, uh, you know, this is the allegation. Which allegation is related to the Quit India movement? That it is a violent movement. Yes, it is a violent moment. This is the allegation and sometimes we consider it partially true as well. It is an allegation and sometimes we consider it partially true. It is a violent moment. Now, Britishers. Britishers raised this issue of violence and they pressurized Gandhi on moral ground. Look who is talking about non-violence right now. Remember one thing. In history, name and places changes, events remain the same. I don't know whether the current event is there or not. But I just want to tell you one thing. Britishers, throughout their rule, they use force, they use act of violence against unarmed Indians. They killed many. And when this moment was going on, this moment was radical in nature. At that time, Britishers is basically criticizing Gandhi for violent move, violent measure. And they forces Gandhi, why you are not condemning the act of violence? Because it's your moral ground, you have to say something. Ab Gandhi ji ko itna sab kuch kaha. Gandhi ji ko to bohat bura laga. Hai na? Gandhi ji ko bura laga. Ki yaar, moment violent hua. Lekin Gandhi ji bhi bade shatir khiladi ko. Yes, he was very sharp in politics. How it is so? Because Gandhi, Gandhi knew that. It is the normal reaction of the people. People were non-violent in nature. It's the mistake of British. They dumped all the politicians in the jail and now movement is leaderless and you know leaderless movement cannot considered as a control movement leader are those who can control the mob of lakhs of people with one slogan yes and gandhi knew that it happened it is because of british mistake is there and british forces were ruthlessly suppressed Indian. That's why it is a normal reaction of the people. So when Britishers, when Britishers talk about the non-violence and all, Gandhi said that these people are torturing me. These people are forcing me. Who? Britishers are forcing me. They are pressurizing me to adopt some stand and I protest it. And Gandhi started fast in jail. And you know that this movement intensified after Gandhi's past. Yes, do you know this thing? Do you know this thing? That Gandhi started fast and movement get intensified. This is the one part. The another part is most interesting. As I mentioned, Gandhi is very sharp and shrewd. I am talking about in political things. Jisse kehte na, realistic, pragmatic approach. Gandhi always have a pragmatic approach related. So when he started fast, his health is deteriorating day by day. After that, Britishers were ready for one thing. Of what? Britishers ready for his funeral. So it's liya tha unhone, bas Gandhi ji ab jane wale hai. और इसने भाई साहब ने बहुत तकलीफ दी है लेकिन बहुत अच्छा भी था तो हम एक काम कर लेते आधे दिन की छुट्टी दे देते यस यस एवरीवन व्हेन गांधी स्टार्टेड द फास्ट हिज हेल्थ डेटोरेटेड एंड ब्रिटिश वाज रेडी फॉर हिज फ्यूनरल एंड दे डिसाइडेड दैट वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू हाफ डे हॉलिडे इन इंडिया शार्प पर्सन गांधी सेड दैट नो आई डोंट वांट now my fast is over. I don't want to die. And Gandhi ended his fast. 
so this is the way gandhi replied to british his past intensify the movement do you find any resemblance in nowadays how a fast or any act intensified the movement yes koi suna suna sa dekha dekha sa pada pada sa lag raha hai kya yadi hai to hamesha yaad rakhiye i used to say this thing naam aur jagah badal jati hai ghatnaye payi hoti hai those who made violence throughout their life now they are talking about non violence it is the case with britishers and britishers want to apply that for gandhi yes everyone is that clear to you clear good stories are important as well okay next thing this is the question which i ask you in the previous lecture in the summer of 1942 gandhi was in uniquely militant mood evaluate and rudra said yes i am particularly mentioning the name because he said that i am going to find by my own so now it's your time your turn tell me everyone so in the summer of 1942 gandhi ji was in uniquely militant mood evaluate what you are going to write yes everyone what do you think what we have to write here Yes, boys and girls, what you are supposed to write here? Tell me one thing. Do you agree with the statement? Do you agree with the statement? In the summer of 1942, Gandhi was in uniquely militant mood. Rudra said, "Background of Quit India Movement." Okay. First of all, whenever you are going to read the statement kind of question, you have to first did this thing. Whether you agree, yes, you agree. Everybody, because 1942, Gandhi's mood was totally different, and he was radical. That's why "Do and Die" is the best representative example of it. clear so yes we agree now how to deal with this question how to deal with this question first of all this question is having two part satish do gandhi was in militant mood quit india movement was little aggressive one militant mood doesn't mean satish militant doesn't mood that you're going to follow the any military activities or any violent activities militant means basically it is uh, we can consider a different from gandhian line when gandhi talked about do or die it is a symbol like of that gandhi said that if i wait for the freedom then i have to wait till the doomsday this is the last struggle of my life even he said that it is better for british it is a better for britishers and indians to leave this country britishers right now so these are the symbolized that gandhi stand is basically day by day militant militant means sharp aggressive in nature he was not advocating any act of violence but now gandhi is not was not in mood of compromise clear so you agree with this okay first of all you have 
to mention the situation that made Gandhi this. Yes, Rudra, exactly. Exactly. So, this is basically three part answer. First part, what you are going to mention in true. In intro, you have to introduce this statement. What you are going to introduce in this statement, please listen it carefully, everyone. This statement, what about it said, in the summer of 1942, Gandhiji was uniquely militant mood. Introduction should be like that. In the situation in 1942 was such that the Gandhi's stance were more vocal, radical and non-compromising attitude in 1942. This statement is suggestive of that stand. Clear? It should be in true. That's it. Means you have to introduce in which context this statement was made. Clear? Next part. The part 2 is very simple. Part 2 you have to mention the circumstances in 1942. Circumstances in 1942. You can mention other than circumstances as well. Uh, the heading should be anything different. Do what you are going to mention. You are going to mention in this circumstances what made Gandhi aggressive. What factors made Gandhi aggressive? You are going to mention in part two. Circumstances or factors. What exactly? First. Offer after offer fail. Okay. Second, individuals tagged. Third and most important, yes, Japanese attack. Japanese state for failure or defeat after defeat of European power. Yes, are you going to write this thing? Yes, of course, because it it was very clearly visible that these forces left Indonesia, Singapore, Vietnam without fighting war. The defeat of these countries, that is France, Britain, in the war, it is visible and the expansion of Japan, expansion of fascist forces is clearly visible. And one more important thing that offer after offer is failure and the Crips mission was considered as an immediate factor for launching of the movement because Gandhi said that Barbad ho re ho, means right now you are not in a position to negotiate, but still you are trying to mention that you are a master and we are slave. We don't want that. Clear? So that made Gandhi aggressive. These factors made Gandhi aggressive. And now in the part third, what you are going to mention? Yes, boys and girls, what you are going to mention? Part third. Hmm. Kya likho gaya? Ab to itna sab kuch bata diya. Ab to bata do. Yes, boys and girls. What you are going to write in part third? First, you introduce. Second, you mention why made Gandhi militant. Now you have to mention the militant stands. Don't you think so? Why, PK? Why you want to go to conclusion? You have to mention the stand. Without mentioning stand, how can you consider that Gandhi was in uniquely militant mood?
no such issue how to mention the Gandhi's stand. Gandhi's stand or Gandhi's approach. Yes, because without that, how can you say that Gandhi was in militant mood? In short, first is introduction of statement. Is that clear? Second, you have to meet. Means, for example, a statement is like that. This person, meaning I. If anybody is going to tell that this person is angry. This person is angry. So whether I born angry, yes, I ask you a very simple question. If anybody is said that Harshwardhan Singh is angry, Harshwardhan Singh is angry. So you are going to suppose that Harshwardhan Singh is basically born angry. Is that the case? Is that the case? Of course not. Then what you have to find out? You have to find out what made this person that is Harshwardhan, what made Harshwardhan angry? That is circumstances, that is factors. Angry young man Is that the case? Of course not. Some factor was there and because that Harshwadhan Singh is angry. Okay. That is the one factor. Now you know that. So you should know the another thing. When this person is angry, what this person is going to do? Clear? How can you say that this person is angry? You have to mention something that this person slapped one person, this person beat that person. Clear? It is the same way with the question. You made that, you mentioned Gandhi was uniquely militant mood. So first you have to make what factors made Gandhi angry or militant. The second, second Gandhi's reaction, Gandhi's stand, Gandhi's approach. These are suggestive of Gandhi was in militant mood. Yes, everyone, is that clear? Are nee, hum gussa kaha hoke, bhai sab? Gussa hoke kya karo ge? Yes, the name itself suggests Gandhi, a non-violent person. So now, part three is clear to you. What you have to write? In part 3, you have to mention Gandhi's stand. So, how you are going to mention the Gandhi's stand or Gandhi's ads, which are suggestive of Gandhi's militant approach? Statements. Gandhi's statements are the reference for it. For example, yesterday's lecture, do you remember we mentioned many more things? His statements in Harijan, Gandhi mentioned, it's better for Britain. Britain to leave India. Next statement, I can't wait. If I wait, then I have to wait till doomsday. Clear? One more statement is very famous as I don't remember the whole context, the whole statement, but I know the context. That statement said that. It's better that Britishers leave India right now, whether it is a ruined state, but India is going to emerge as a nation state from these ashes. It is a simple statement. So these statements are suggestive of that. Next important thing. Next important thing that his statements 
at Bombay. Not statement, we can mention speech. Yes, the speech, basically Gandhi's speech at Gwalior Tank, that is known as Azad Madan in Mumbai at time Bombay was there. You are going to mention, we mentioned today only. He addressed each and every one. He addressed student, he addressed peasant, he addressed soldiers, he addressed government servant, he addressed military, he addressed Zamindar, he addressed native rulers, he addressed native subjects. So these statements and yes, last one, last, do or die, karo or maro. Clear? And if you want to write the part 4 is basically you are going to write the conclusion. In part 4 it is very simple. Conclusion is very simple. That above statement. Above statements. Are suggestive of. The shift in. The basic stand of Gandhi. Which was completely non-violent in nature and cooperative in nature now uncompromising hostility is visible in this that's it or kya likhna hai yes everyone is that clear now is there any need to write anything of course not there is no need to write anything after that that's it so I am happy that Rudra, what Rudra promised to me, that he fulfilled that promise. He mentioned one thing that I am going to tell you answer and he told me the answer. Yes, boys and girls, is that clear? Good. Next thing. Factors behind Britishers to quit India. Factors behind Britishers to quit India. Please tell me what do you think? What factors were behind that leads Britishers to quit India? क्या लगता है अंग्रेज भारत कैसे छोड़ दिया? Yes, basically they are uh, feeling homesick. That's why they said, that, no, no, I have to go. Is that the case? Do you know Britishers stay in India for more than 190 years? Yes, more than 190 years they stayed in India. But now the factors are so much and they cannot stay in India and that's the reason. So please tell me what do you think what factors behind the Britishers to quit? अरे भाई साहब बता दो कौन से फैक्टर है फैक्टर्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ फैक्टर्स वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट देयर आर टू फैक्टर्स वन इज एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर अनदर इज इंटरनल फैक्टर External and internal. External factors are most important along with the internal factors. So external factors, these are the same factors. Yes, everyone, please remember, we already discussed that in world history section in the topic decolonization. In the topic decolonization, we mentioned this factor and we mentioned what factors responsible world wars made British there we mentioned European world war 2 and world war basically 1 and 2 made Britain 
financially weak financially weak and they were no longer in a position to continue no longer in position to continue the rule second important thing that is change in dop now the bipolar world usa and ussr emerge as a victor and both opposes the concept of colonization fifth and they pressurize britain and france to leave their colony third most important thing war time promises as they talk about this is a war for freedom this is a war to protect democracy so you made the promise the this war is for freedom so how can you keep this thing next important factor is related to internal pressure who provided that pressure citizen of that particular country even the britishers british citizens forces their government to leave their colonies and india is one of them why we require that because of this madness of colonialism we face the first world war second world war why it is required so these are the external factors which are responsible for quit britishers to quit and what are internal factors of course colonial revolution colonial revolution and the most important factor in that colonial revolution is quit india movement along with that i and a indian national army yes because now <laughs> subhash chandra bose subhash chandra bose along with his forces he entered into burma he entered into india with help of foreigners so this is a real threat now they realize indians are basically fighting within the country with us along with that they are fighting from other places so they realize is now it is not the case we cannot stay here for a long quit india movement radical movement was there radical programs and uncompromising attitude adopted by them indian national army yes azad hind fauj along with that do you know one thing there are many people as i'm learning this subject i am not going to tell you that i'm teaching this subject i'm learning this subject for a long and still there are people uh, telling me one thing do you know there is a problem between subhash chandra bose and gandhi do you know there is a problem between subhash chandra bose and nehru i said yes i i know that they said see see how they act against the bose and all i said that uh, do one thing please read the book you will get to know that along with that please read the letters written by subhash to jawahar lal or subhash to bapu so you will get to know the difference what kind of differences they were having and what kind of what we can say opinions they are having with each other everybody knew about this fact that subhash chandra bose was a leftist in nature subhash chandra bose was acting against communism throughout his life he condemned the act of communism in his life along with that the ideological differences was there between gandhi and subhash even subhash and nehru but still they have respect for each other if you want to know then ina is the best example that is indian national army when subhash chandra bose formed this army he has three wings in that he gave the name of gandhi brigade nehru brigade and azad brigade so this is a visible love or affection of subhash chandra bose with these leaders ideology may be different it it is with you and your parents as well so whether your hostility is there between you and your parents 
even the very important thing. Now we called Mahatma Gandhi as the father of nation. Who called that person father of nation? It was Subhash Chandra Bose only who was the first person who said that if he was having the enmity in that level. So whether he is going to call that, of course not. So the problem is that if you are going to study the history from WhatsApp, then the problem is with you. Clear? So this is the factor. It's And you know what? Forget about that. This is the first part of the story. What happened after INA? The INA trial was going on whole India united. And yes, there was a committee form. INA fund was raised. INA week was celebrated. And who fought the cases? The Indian nationalist barrister fought the cases and including Jawaharlal Nehru was one of them. Bhulabai Desai was head of it. Asaf Ali. Yes, Asaf Ali was the one of the persons. So these are the biggest lawyer of that time. They fought the cases. INA trial and finally everybody tells you one thing. That this is an internal matter of India. Why you are going to interfere in that? We are going to deal with that. Clear? So Britishers, this is the way that we even... Even INA trial is the best example. And one more example I just want to share with you related to the INA. If you know the name of the people who involved into INA, the name you will get to know Hindu, Muslim and Sikh. Shahbaz Khan. One of the persons. Yes, there are many leaders. There are many People involved into INA, they are from different religions. So this shows the secular character of INA. And even equality is given to women in INA as well. Sashi Rani Brigade was established and two Indian women participated. Of course, one is everybody knew about that. Lakshmi Sekal. And the second most important is Devki. Uh, I, I don't remember the surname of uh, that. I'm really sorry for that. So these are the two ladies involved into that. It shows the involvement of each and every section of the society in INA as well. So from internal quit India movement, external INA was there. And third important thing that is Royal Indian Navy Mutiny. And the third, this is the third, and fourth is the letter of rebel. This letter was basically an eye opener for Britishers. Why Sarvahan Samit Lo? Jitne jaldo se ge nikal lo yahan se. Why? Because this letter is suggestive that the Spirit of nationalism is spread among army and it's really difficult for us to sustain with help of them. Yes, is that clear to you? The factors behind quit India movement, is that clear to you? Sorry, factors behind Britishers to quit. Clear? Any question, any doubt, any query? Yes, boys and girls, is there any question? Yes, you have question. Anybody is having any question? No? Good. So that's all for today's lecture. Please do not forget combat Feb 7, 11 a.m. Yes, everyone. So if you really like the video, please like, share, subscribe. Please do one thing. If you like the way of teaching, please dedicate the hats you are available with you. You can follow me on Unacademy app so that you will get the details of lecture timings and everyone. And the last but not least. Subscribe to an academy. Your subscription is important for us. Without your subscription, it's not possible for us to present video lectures. So please subscribe 
and whenever you are going to subscribe an academy use my code harshv10 yes everyone so today evening we are having lecture yes today we are having lecture when how which topic everything i am going to mention on my telegram channel that's all for now thank you very much for your valuable time have a good day great day take care bye bye